Bring, <laughs> bring out our next comic to the stage. Y'all ready to laugh? Let me hear you say, yeah. yeah! Our next comic is coming. He's a comedy boot camp volunteer, and he's also a sophomore at William and & Mary, and a stand-up comedian also. That's good, because you're about to do stand-up. Everyone, please put your hands together for John O'Neill! How's everyone doing? I like to wear uh, t-shirts from places I've never been to before because I love really short conversations. <laughs> so I'm, uh, uh, like Ty said, I'm, I'm in college. And if there's one thing college has taught me is that smokers are very bad at measuring distance. 20 feet from the nearest exit? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like them. I don't have all my shit memorized, so we're gonna... <laughs> I'm worried that's gonna be the funniest thing I say all night. Recently, I was going on a trip, and um, I went online for a place to stay. Um, and so I found this uh, like small family-owned place that I could stay, uh, where they continuously played Aretha Franklin and Stevie Wonder. So it was an R&B, B&B from Airbnb. <laughs> I, uh, I met a girl recently who's uh, the descendant um, of like Armenian Jews. So her family has survived two genocides. Uh, or if you're the United States government, her family survived one genocide. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I recently found out that the phrase pregnant pause does not mean when you stop talking for nine months. <laughs> this would have helped me, uh, you know, get out of some awkward situations. Um, one time I was telling a story to my friend and I guess I paused for like a second or two. She said, wow, that was a, that was a plan B, that, that was a pregnant pause. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? No, that was a plan B pause. Okay. <laughs> I gave it away in the middle there, but still nothing. Uh, my roommate is, is 21, but I'm not. So it gets a little weird because he's allowed to have alcohol in the room, but, but I'm not because I'm under 21. So but the, the college, our college's policy is that it's allowed to be on his side of the room. So I just have to convince my RA that my mouth is on his side of the room. A lot of people in college dye their hair to show that they're like young and wild and free. And I think I'm gonna do it too. Uh, in fact, I, I already did it. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I dyed my hair. Um, I just don't think Just For Men Touch of Grey was the right choice. <laughs> but my armpits have never looked better, I'll tell you. <laughs> the fuck does this say? <laughs> I, come up, I come up with a lot of my jokes in the shower, uh, which is really nice for me, but it's not that great for my notebook. <laughs> I have an idea for a restaurant. It's called Agnostic Chick-fil-A. <laughs> They're open on Sundays. So uh, the 
the the classes when we've met for comedy boot camp the past eight weeks they've been in the bi the business school, and I don't really go in there because I'm not a business student. Um, but it's it's interesting to be in there. Uh, and when I was like leaving one day, they had an event. They had an event that just ended, and so they had food on the table. And the food said th there was a sign, and it said this food is for executive MBA students only. And I was like, it's a fucking banana, okay? <laughs> I love in stand-up comedy uh, when um, people do a little lead into a joke. So they'll say, I love pie. And then they'll tell a joke about pie or tell a story they have. It's funny involving pie. So I love sex. This <laughs> so one time me and my cousin were hanging out. Uh, <laughs> All right, that's all my time. Thank you very much. Comedy boot camp. You people get ready to laugh. <laughs> <laughs>